Hello, fabulous Taurus. Welcome to your horoscope for the month of September 2020, looking at life and love. I am your astrologer, Nadia Shaw. Thank you for being here. It is a remarkable astrological month. There is so much going on, big moves in the sky. We've got Mars going retrograde. We've got Jupiter and Saturn going direct. We've got Mercury entering shadow. So as you can see here, all of this does suggest a shifting of energies. For you, that Mars retrograde is inviting you to go inwards that much more deeply and will make your inner life that much more rich. But we have other things happening and what we tend to feel more is lunar events because they do speak to our emotional reality. It will be right around the second of the month that we will have this month's full moon. Now that full moon is going to take place in a part of the sky for you that has to do with friendships, group endeavors, it has to do with your hopes and your wishes for your life. Now the full moon will be speaking in harmony with Uranus. I just love this energy for you. First of all, you are hosting Uranus in your sign, that's one part of it. But the other part of it is that this is an energy of freedom. This is an energy of change, of awareness. And as much as it is that with this energy speaking to what is happening with other people, the fact that Uranus is in your sign, there's something very individual about what is transpiring with others as well. And so I do think that the most likely scenario is that someone you know, a friend, or maybe someone you're connected to through a group endeavor professionally is part of facilitating a breakthrough opportunity for you, an opportunity to experience, in some cases, very dramatic change in your life and for the better. For others, it may be that this full moon grants the opportunity to understand a particular dynamic between you and another differently than you did before. And given how visionary this part of the sky is, it is, after all, connected to the hopes and wishes that we have for our life, and Uranus is all about being propelled into our future, well, this can be a tremendously motivating time as well. You're connecting to some truth about yourself, and that, in turn, is helping you to align more fully with those particular wishes for your life. As we navigate later in the month, right around the 17th is when we will have this month's new moon. I just love this new moon for you, let me tell you. It is this new moon that is going to be speaking in supreme harmony with Pluto, with Saturn, and it will also be speaking in harmony with Jupiter as well, though not as precisely as Pluto and Saturn. And yet there is so much intensity at this time in the best possible sense. This is an energy of blessings. And that is that much more true for you. Where this new moon is, it is a part of the sky that has to do with a dramatic turnaround of circumstances for the better. It has to do with things like winnings and gambling and the lottery. It is connected to where it is that you are feeling you're able to live more in alignment with the desires of your heart. And creativity is covered here. Children are covered here as well. So whether it is that you're using this energy uh, more for its possible benefits where it comes to lottery winnings, I would say this would be the time to get that lottery ticket. Now, of course, you never want to bet the farm. You always want to be in a space of abundance and feel like it's no big deal. And if you are in that space and you feel so inclined, yes, the new moon might be a good time to do a little bit of a splurge on that front. Outside of that, though, there is um, a suggestion here that you are feeling like a new creative chapter is starting for you. Your fertility may be especially strong right about now, and it may also be a time when you are just that much more committed to enjoying yourself, to living your life more fully committed to the voice of your heart and where it is that you are trusting your passions and allowing that to lead you somewhere good, well, that may be the best gamble that you can take with the greatest payoff. Now, in the context of love, this part of the sky speaking to what is happening in your heart of hearts 
and where it is that you're connected to a life that you love. That would, of course, show up in the context of romantic love as well. This is a part of the sky connected to flirtation. And if it is that you are open to meeting someone new, watch the days around that new moon. It does suggest that there may be someone new and there is a powerful flirtation that does take place. And that becomes part of a catalyst moment for you. It becomes part of a redefining of self, and in some cases, in the best possible sense. It can be deeply meaningful, and the fact that Saturn is there speaking in supreme harmony with this new moon, it tells me that there may also be long-term potential. For those of you who are just starting to date somebody, this can be a beautiful time as well, especially the days surrounding the uh, new moon. This is where you are that much more likely to feel your heart more connected to theirs, feel like you are genuinely enjoying their company, having fun with this person. And this is also going to be a moment where you're able to more easily understand whether or not this is somebody for you and for your future. If it is, then this can be a time of powerful connecting. But if it may not be the case, well, this new moon could be a time when you are connecting with someone new. And if it is that you are in an established bond, I love this new moon energy for you because it is an energy that is all about awakening on a heart level, having that sense of joy, but also feeling more deeply connected as a result. It is about redefining and reaffirming the bonds, and in some cases, the very deep bonds that you share from a heart-centered perspective. What I love about this month for you, well, look, this is a very powerful astrological month. Yes, of course, we have these lovely lunar events taking place, but remember, Mars is going retrograde. That is going to awaken your inner life. We have Jupiter going direct. We have Saturn going direct. And these planets now moving forward are gonna start to march towards the next area of life. They're not there just yet. They're going to get there late this year. But this is the beginning of changing energies, of powerful shifts. And it's also a change of self. In many ways, it is the energy that is playing out right now that is changing you deeply and in important ways. And I do want to give you a little bit of a heads up. Next month, is a blue moon month and Halloween, we have got a full moon taking place in your sign. If you were looking for a moment that was going to change your life, it is coming up very soon and I will be here to talk about it every step of the way. So for now, while the sky suggests that you are coming to a newfound clarity as to where it is that you want to put in time and energy in the hopes of manifesting bigger and better, while the sky suggests that you are coming to a depth of understanding as to what you truly want in your heart of hearts, know that life and the cosmos are on your side for wonderful gains as part of setting the stage for a burst of clarity that ultimately gives way to a new beginning. Well, thank you so much for watching. You can get a video like this every week by logging on to NadiaShaw.com. Sign up to be one of my superstars. Superstars get expanded exclusive video scopes each and every week, unlimited access to special horoscopes like the Mars retrograde special horoscope, the Jupiter specials, the Saturn specials, all of that. If you have them or you are a superstar, this would be a good time and a good month to rewatch those videos or to get them and watch them for the first time because of how powerful the shifts are that are taking place. And there is so much more, all of this in the superstar space. I look forward to meeting you there. It'll be a great month. Enjoy.